Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I am going to do a head gasket in my 2003 Jeep TJ that has a 4.8 Vortex swap. And before you tackle any LS Vortex head gasket job, you need to make sure you have the right parts. If you've been following my video series, you already know why we had to tear down the engine. There's a few things you need to know before you do a head gasket job is know what kind of heads you got. Knowing what kind of heads you got, determine what kind of gasket you need. Also, determining the year of the block also determines on what head bolts you need to get. First things first, here's the head. What I'm gonna show you right there is that it's got a notch. That notch tells you it's an early LS Vortec head, which only certain head gaskets work with it. One of them is being a composite, our Mali makes one as well. That's the part number 5441, and it's designed for the notched heads, as you can see. Secondly, the earlier blocks have three different sizes of bolts. That being the shorter bolts go in that hole and that far one. That makes a big difference when you go to buy head studs. And that's the bolt set right there. GM 6.05.75348. Comes with eight head bolts, two short head bolts, and five small ones. It's also good to print off a sheet. I got this one off of Summit Racing. Gives you the torque sequence. And of course, like I said, mine's got the shorter bolts. So my last pass is 50 degrees where the rest are 90. And of course, if you have a Gen 4 block, well then, you gotta go 90 degrees and 70 degrees, but the one I'm dealing with is the Gen 3, 90 and 50. The block and head has been prepped. So let's get the gasket on. The first thing you need to do is make sure your lineup pins for the head are already inserted. Before you install the head gasket, be sure to check over your list to make sure everything is prepped before you install it. Now, if you look at the head gasket, it says front on the gasket you got to make sure that goes to the front because the water jackets in the back that's very important if you don't have the head gasket installed properly you're gonna be doing it all over again now this is where some people are probably going to disagree with what i'm doing i'm just using an electronic ratchet that doesn't have too much power just to spin the bolts in for the first set I'm not torquing them down yet, I'm just getting the bolts set down and then I'm going to properly torque them. You could use a speed wrench, you could use a ratchet, but I'm just speeding up the process by using my Milwaukee electric ratchet. The first pass sent your torque wrench to 22 foot-pounds and do the torque in the sequence that was shown on the paper earlier. The next two passes require the use of a torque angle finder and this is a little snap one I'm going to show you for demonstration purposes. So basically what you do is you got that rod there. So when you get it set up, you put that rod against something so it stops. So that means when you put your ratchet on, you're going to be able to see the angle that you're turning it. So right now I zeroed it out. That top dial, you just grab it and this zero it. So it makes it easy to see. Get my big mitts in the way. So now with my big hand out of the way, you can clearly see how that works. So our first pass is going to be 90 degrees. In case you haven't noticed, I time-lapsed this whole procedure. So just that people can see an idea what I did to go about doing it. There's a million ways to do a job. You got to find a way that works easiest for you and get the job done right. So without any issues, most of it went smoothly. Some of them had to try to be creative to get that dial locked down but in the end it worked final pass now another 90 degrees except for these end ones which only get 50 degrees I'm gonna tell you right now your best friend is a long ratchet wrench the first pass to get the 90 degrees was pretty easy the second pass with the being in the vehicle you use a little bit more muscle to get that extra 90 degree angle stretch and uh, arms might be a little sore depending on how strong you are. All the main studs are torqued down. Just got these small bolts. We're gonna stick them in and then torque them 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And those are at 22 foot pounds as well. Best advice I can give you to make this job easier is a long half inch ratchet, deep socket 15 mil, and your torque angle gauge half inch as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.